Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll be showing you how to view your entire Minecraft world as a map, just like in this image. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is download this program called Unimine. I'm going to delete it first so you can see that I'm downloading it with you without any issues. Basically, it's going to tell us that it's available for Java version 1.0 up to 1.20.1 and above, and for Bedrock Edition from 1.4 to January 20th, 10 and above. So it tells us that it's for personal use, okay? It's free, and they say there are no ads, no malware, all right? And basically, what we're going to do is install the desktop application. Please, don't install it from any other program. I'll leave the link in the description, okay? Don't install it from any other website. Now, what we're going to do is create this folder. We're going to type Unimine. Let's put the zip file into the folder and drag it into the documents folder. Now that we have it in documents, we're going to extract it without any issue. Once it's extracted, we'll open the folder and right click to run it as administrator. Now we'll see this Windows message saying it's protecting our PC. And that's because this executable is actually trying to access both the uh, Minecraft folder and the com.motion folder, which is where our Minecraft worlds are stored. Windows interprets this as potentially harmful to our system. So what we need to do is click run anyway. It runs, we confirm by clicking yes, and there we have it. We can pin it to the taskbar if we want. And basically, as we can see right here, we now have automatic access to both the Java and Bedrock folder. So if we wanted to register another folder, we could click here and select register folder, but that's not what we want right now. Now we're going to open a Java world and we'll choose the largest one. I'm not sure which one is the largest, so let's just pick any world. We'll double left click on it and a drop down menu will open where we can see the overworld. For example, here we have the overworld. If we want to switch to the lens view, we can do that. In this case, with the lens view, I think, I think I haven't loaded much here, okay? There we have the lens view. If we want to load the nether, we can also do that. If you look at the map, you can see many things in detail. Right now, I have the x-ray on. If I turn it off, you'll see that everything looks smooth because this is actually the bedrock. In fact, here's a mechanism I used to break the bedrock. If you want to remove the ceiling, for example, in the case of the nether, what you do is press the height above button, okay? Basically, here you decide from what height you want to start seeing. For instance, at height one, you're going to see the bedrock on the ground. But if you want to see height 60 of the nether, for example, then this is what you'll be looking at. Obviously with the nether it's more complicated because you have a ground and so on, okay? And here it says height below, which would be hiding from below. So if we want to see, for example, if we don't want to see the lava, then we would be hiding this layer here, okay? And well, obviously I repeat, the nether is a bit more complicated to view itself, but more or less you can get to see it, okay? Now, this is more designed for the overworld. So as you can see here, we have the map of the overworld, and how can we make it look better? Because this quality is a bit poor. Well, we can click on shadows, okay? And here we can apply different filters. Here we have the 2.5 setting, which will add some shadows. Okay, even so, it still looks a bit rough, but it's starting to look better. We can add the 3D effect, all right? And with the 3D, it starts to have a much more professional quality. Okay, for the map, we can set it to 3D ray casting with more apparent. And now we really have a map, a well-made map. It looks good for placing mark. For example, player is where I am, all right? Or where the player reads. We can put this here, and if we want to activate the server players, we can also add them to see where each player is located. This can all be done. And that's about all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please leave a like and I'll see you in future videos.